The most revered soldier in all of American history was a World War I soldier. He was killed in 1918. Do you know his name? No one does. He was the warrior laid in the tomb of the unknown soldier. The tomb of the unknown soldier was built in 1921 as a symbolic grave for all of America's unknown war dead. In 1958, they added the remains of a World War II soldier, and then in 1984, the remains of a third Vietnam soldier, but later, through DNA technology, he was identified as Lieutenant Michael Blassie a pilot shot down in combat over Anne Locke. This lieutenant was given the Medal of Honor by then President Ronald Reagan and laid to rest by his family near St. Louis. So why were they forced to remove Lieutenant Blassie from the most revered gravesite? Because of three requirements. First, he had to be a trained combatant, Second, he had to give his life in combat. But third, he could never make a name for himself. Hmm, that sounds like a lot of Christians I've known. Christ followers who every day fight the good fight of faith in an unknown place, nameless and without recognition, but every day they lay down their lives for the kingdom of God. Paul wrote to Timothy, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier in Christ Jesus. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself in the affairs of this life that he may please the one who's enlisted him as a soldier. Fight on, soldier. Your reward in heaven will be far greater than even the Medal of Honor.